Northern Panhandle met around a table at West Virginia Northern Community College today to discuss a disturbing trend. There's a rising tide of opioid use in West Virginia, and Attorney General Patrick Morrissey wants to know what can be done. Those who help Valley residents each day say substance abuse is higher than before the pandemic. Some raised concerns that there's a huge gap for inpatient mental health facilities for adolescents. We lost Hillcrest with the OVMC closure, and recovery groups are asking for help. Fill in the blanks, fill in the spots where we need a little bit of extra help. Um, it was a lot more difficult to do things during um, the pandemic as well, just getting together, trying to work with people. We know that over the upcoming months, there will be some additional settlements and agreements. Uh, we've been working and fighting in the bankruptcy court for West Virginia. We've been trying to increase West Virginia's share because I am not going to accept any formula that gives short shrift to West Virginia built on a population-based system where the big states try to push around the little states. That's off the table for me. Attorney General Morrissey promised money in 2021 to groups represented in the room. He said it would come after the bankruptcy case was settled. The recovery groups are hopeful.